Hi, I'm Noah Jesko, senior quarterback for the Austin College Kangaroos, and you're watching SCAC 360. Welcome to SCAC 360 Football Edition. Your recap of everything on the gridiron from the past weekend of play. I am James Hill, Assistant Commissioner of the SCAC, and we have another great show for you this week. It was another exciting weekend in the SCAC. Austin College looked to erase another deficit and pick up their second win of the season, while Texas Lutheran looked to stay perfect on the road and on the season. Meanwhile, Southwestern hit the road against a tough NAIA opponent, while Trini had upset on the brain as they welcomed in a top 25 foe. Let's begin our recap in Sherman. Austin College took on Howard Payne. You see coming up the middle here, Jansen Foster picking up a sack in the first half. The Roos were down 7-3. However, early in the second half, Noah Jesko found Gabe McCarthy for a 14-yard touchdown, a 9-7 lead. HPU tries to take the lead back, but on fourth and goal, the Roo defense keeps him out of the end zone to stay up 9-7. Howard Payne would go up 16-9 here in the fourth quarter, though. Interception here by Delmas Hoy, which would end up setting up a field goal to make it 16-12. Next possession. Again, Howard Payne tries to answer, and Shane Hodge gets the interception this time. So here comes the big moment in the game. Less than seven minutes to play. Howard Payne looking to extend their lead. First and goal from the far. It's intercepted. It is Hoy for the second time, and he is down the sideline. Into Yellow Jacket territory, where he would eventually be tackled at the 23-yard line. It would set up Jesco finding Mitch Trentman from 10 yards out in the end zone. It's 19-16 Ruse. Last play of the game, four seconds remaining. Shane Hodge blocks the 45-yard attempt to tie the game to give the Ruse a 19-16 win. Texas Lutheran went over to Southwestern Assemblies of God. You'll see the interception here by Ethan Powell. It will set up Trenton White swinging it out to A.J. Saucedo. 26 yards for a 10-7 lead. Moments later, Jordan Sims steps in front of the pass, and he's going to head to the end zone. A 25-yard touchdown and a 17-7 lead. From there, the Bulldogs just took over. Here, White's going to find Dion Barnes. Get off me. Get off me. He carries his defenders almost 15 yards yards to set up White finding Lewis Williams the second from 19 yards out 24-7 Bulldogs in the second half here's Marquise Perot putting it away you can't tackle him you can't bring him down he's still going and he's not going to be caught now 80 Three yards, Marquise Barol, his eighth touchdown of the season, which does lead the conference. We keep going, Trenton White late in the second half. Do I hear three touchdown passes? You do, Caleb Oliver from 11 yards out. Wait, wait, do I hear... Do I hear four touchdown passes now? Yes, you do. It's Oliver again, a 46-yard score. The Bulldogs roll, defeating Sagu 54-21 to behind 329 yards passing from Trenton White. In San Antonio, Trini welcomed in a tough opponent on Saturday night. The 16th ranked Pacific Lutheran Lutes. Here you see Travis Williams running hard here in the first half. Early in the first quarter, Caleb Green stepping in front of a pass here, coming up with his first interception of the season. Trenny would answer later in the quarter behind a Travis Williams touchdown here from four yards out. Trenny had the early lead. Williams would score again in the second quarter, finishing with 73 yards on 15 carries. However, it was not enough to Trenny. The offense had another tough day as Pacific Lutheran would pick up the win 38 to 14.
Finally, Southwestern hit the road to take on NAIA opponent Oklahoma Baptist. Uh, well, you see Justin Pelt here rolling to his right. He's going to find Kenneth Wynn Jr. Puts a great move. He's heading down the sideline. He gets the pylon for the early touchdown. Pirates were up 7-0. However, the Bison would roll back. Nick Kelly coming into your picture here in a moment. He's going to pick up his third interception of the season, currently tying him for the conference lead. Now check this out. Justin Pelt's going to run to his left, and he hurdles his defender. What an athletic play there by Pelt. Wow, unreal. However, the Pirates had a tough day in Oklahoma, falling 51-7. to we take a look at the SCAC standings now. Texas Lutheran moves to 4-0 on the season. They have won five games in a row dating back to last season. Austin College jumps into second place at 2-2 two two overall. They've won two in a row. Southwestern sits in third as they fall to 1-2, while Trinity sits in fourth with a 1-3 record. Finally, let's look at this week's SCAC Football Players of the Week. Your Offensive Player of the Week from Texas Lutheran University, junior quarterback Trenton White, as you heard and saw what he did against Sagu, 329 yards and four touchdowns. Your Defensive Player of the Week from Austin College, sophomore defensive back Delmas Hoy with his two big interceptions. And finally, your Special Teams Player of the Week, senior defensive back Shane Hodge, blocking that field goal at the end of the game. Game. Check out SCACsports.com for more information about all three players' uh, outstanding weekend. And also be sure and check for player interviews coming later in the week. Fans, SCAC 8 and 8 is returning in October. Myself and Assistant Director of Communications and New Media, Katie Mucci, will be visiting eight SCAC campuses in, okay, technically nine days. Each day we are on a campus, a home athletic event will be taking place. The event will take place October 10th through the 18th. Make sure you are around the day your campus is scheduled. Also fans, SCAC Trending is the new social media competition. Anyone who uses the hashtag affiliated with your institution on Twitter and Instagram will earn points for their school. A Twitter post is worth one point, while an Instagram post gets you two points. Each week's winning institution will choose a student athlete to take over the SCAC's Instagram account for the weekend. So show your school spirit on social media and show everyone why your school is the best school. That'll do it for us at SCAC World Headquarters. Keep those comments coming in on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. We thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you again next week on SCAC 360. The Southern Collegiate Athletic Conference, a conference of good sports.